Hello everyone. Welcome to AVLSI lecture number 13, part number 3. So in the last session, we have derived the small signal voltage gain formula using small signal analysis and for a source follower circuit with body effect and with lambda equal to zero. And also we have derived the expression for the output impedance, correct? So today we are going to focus on deriving the uh, voltage gain formula using the large signal analysis with lambda equal to zero. So let us begin with the analysis. So here is my source follower socket, input being applied to the gate, uh, drain terminal is connected to VDD. Uh, your source terminal, we have RS, and in parallel, we have voltage V out. Here, VSB is not equal to zero. So when we say that if V in is applied, if V in means if you have your uh, small sinusoidal signal and your the DC bias voltage will be superimposed over it. So your whenever V in is applied, your M1 transistor with biasing will be on if V in is greater than VTS, okay? And here, what can we say about the output voltage V out? If you see VDS, output voltage is VS, right? And VS is approximately equal to IDRS. When V in is less than VTS, that means my M1 transistor is off. So my output will be zero, correct? When my M1, M1 transistor will be off, my output will be zero. When it is on, I have my output over here, right? So whenever M1 is on, it is in saturation. It has to be in saturation. So V in is nothing but your VGS, okay? Your output voltage is IDRS. As you can see over here, uh, V out is equal to VS and VS is nothing but IDRS. So we have written the formula for ID, which is half mu and Cox, W by L, VGS minus VTS the whole square. We are considering lambda is equal to zero. So channel and modulation parameter is zero into RS, okay? So your transistor will be off whenever V in is less than VTH. Whenever V in becomes greater than VTH, uh, your output is there. Okay. So from the circuit, what is VGS? If you look carefully. So your uh, VGS is nothing but VG is nothing but V in and your source voltage is nothing but V out. Right. So we can say VGS is equal to V in minus V out. Fine. So in the above formula, we can modify the value of VGS to V in minus V out, and uh, we get equation number 13.2.6. Now what we need to do is, we need to differentiate both sides of equation number 13.2.6 with respect to V in. So we'll get partial derivative of V out, you know, uh, dV out by dV in is equal to d by dV in of half mu and Cox W by L, V in minus V out minus VTH square, the whole square into RS. So now we have to analyze the in every term one by one. So let's start with the first term. So first you will have the, uh, you know, it, it will be multiplied with this X square. So X square differentiation will be two X. So hence we have over here half mu and Cox W over L twice V in minus V out minus VTH. And uh, again, we have the differentiation of internal terms over here, V in, V out and VTH, okay? Now, if you remember with body effect, VTH term also gets affected, okay? So we have DV, DV in by DV, uh, DV in, okay? DV in by DV in minus DV out by DV in minus uh, DVTH by delta, I mean delta VTH by delta V in into RS. So we have two differentiations over here. First term is half, uh, I mean, uh, X square differentiation is 2X into the differentiation of internal terms. Fine. Now from here, we simplify this two and two gets canceled and this RS terms we have put over here. Okay. So DV, I mean, Delta V out by Delta V in is equal to mu and Cox W over L RS into V in minus V out minus VTH. We have taken it out. And from here, DV out by DV in is one. Sorry, DV in by DV in is one. Then we have minus Delta V out by Delta V in, which is your gain AV minus of delta VTH upon delta V in, right? So we need to find the expression of delta VTH upon delta V, fine? And then substitute it in this equation, 13.2.7. So delta VTH upon delta V in can be written as delta VTH upon delta, uh, you know, VSB into delta VSB upon delta V, okay? So you know the threshold voltage formula with the body effect will be given by, VTH is given by VTHO, plus gamma into square root of mod of twice fire plus VSB minus of square root of mod of twice fire, right? 
Now this we differentiate with respect to VSB. So what do we get over here? Uh, the differentiation of first term will be zero because VTH is a constant. Then uh, differentiation of uh, X raised to half will be, um, I, I know half into X raised to minus half, right? So here we are getting it as gamma into one upon twice square root of twice phi f plus VSB mod of. And differentiation of twice phi f will be zero. So only the first term is get, getting uh, differentiated, right? Partially differentiated. So we have written it in concrete form. So delta VTH upon delta VSB is equal to gamma divided by twice square root of twice phi f plus VSB. And this term, we can uh, term it as eta, okay? This term, we can call it as eta. In fact, we have done this derivation before in one of the AVLSS sessions. And this we call it 13.2.8. Now, delta VTH upon delta V in is equal to delta VTH upon delta VSB into delta VSB into delta V in, right? So, we can write it easily in this form now. Your uh, VSB is nothing but your V out, right? How? Your uh, VSB is nothing but Vs minus Vb. Your base voltage is, I mean, your body voltage is connected to ground and your source voltage is V out. Let us see that. Okay. See here, source voltage is nothing but your same as your output voltage. So here what we can do is, yeah, VSB, source voltage is V out. So VSB is actually V out. So hence we can write delta VTH upon delta VSB is eta, which we have just now derived it, it is this term. And delta VSB upon delta V in is nothing but delta V out upon delta V. Okay. So your delta VTH upon delta V in is nothing but, uh, I mean, uh, eta times delta V out upon delta V. In. So we substitute this in equation number 13.2.7. Okay. Delta V in upon uh, delta VTH upon delta V in, we substitute it as eta times delta V, v out upon delta V. In. So we'll again go back to equation number 13.2.7. So over here, we have to substitute it over here. Delta VTH upon delta V in term. Okay. So let's go and do that. Yeah, we have rewritten the equation. So this is the equation. Delta V out upon delta V in is equal to mu and Cox W by L RS into V in minus V out minus VTH into one minus delta V out upon delta V in as it is. And in place of delta, uh, you know, VTH upon delta V in, we substitute eta times delta V out upon delta V in. Okay, so now what do we do is we will club the terms of delta V out upon delta V in together. So from here also we'll club the terms together. So we'll get one plus mu and Cox W by L into RS into uh, V in minus V out minus VTH into one plus eta. So here you can see from here you are getting one plus eta. We are just taking uh, delta V out upon delta V in term outside. Okay. So this we can further simplify as follows. Okay, that will be equal to, yeah, I mean, we are getting minus one also, right? So uh, we are taking this entire term on the left hand side, we are getting equal to mu and Cox W by L RS into V in minus V out minus VTX. Okay, so if we, we get this huge expression as you can see over here, right? So if we take the expression of del uh, delta V out upon delta V, in, it is equal to this. Numerator is this and the denominator is this. Okay. Now, if you look carefully, GM expression is mu and Cox W by L VGS minus VTH, right? Which is same as mu and Cox W by L in this case, V in minus V out because VGS in a source follower is VG, uh, V in minus V out. So we can replace this uh, numerator term by GM, right? this term by gm into rs fine and also gmv will be eta times gm fine with it so the voltage gain of a source follower will be gm into vgs plus one upon this again it is gm right this is gm right gm into rs into one plus eta now we already know that what is uh, gmv gmv is eta times gm right so here we get Actually, here you should have one more term coming up, GM, which is missing. So let me add that term over here. Yeah, GM term will come, right? Because uh, mu and Cox W by L, 
v in minus uh, v out that term is there so your gm term will come and we know that uh, gm into eta will be gmv so hence we can write this term as sorry for that uh, voltage gain of a source follower will be gm rs divided by 1 plus gm plus gmv into rs right where gmv is eta times gm and this is the same formula uh, which we have obtained by the small signal analysis so finally the voltage gain of a source follower by large signal analysis is given by rs we have taken uh, we divided numerator and denominator by gm we get rs divided by 1 upon gm plus 1 1 plus eta times rs and this is valid for lambda equal to 0 similarly you can derive it for lambda non zero but this is the voltage gain formula for the source follower circuit using the large signal analysis so the result is same as obtained by small signal analysis